Doola do and welcome to another tutorial in web development. This is the seventh tutorial uh, in a series where I show you how to make bouncing balls in the HTML5 canvas tag. So let's move on from where we were last in the last tutorial, which is here. So now this is the very last step and you'll be done. Uh, and the last step is to make the arrow. So you want to under the, the maybe under here maybe make a new function call it uh, arrow row and then pass it some values from x from y which is you know where to drag the arrow from and then you know 2x, 2y, so from a position to another position, and then which color we want the arrow to be. Uh, and just like this, um, this uh, circle function where we did this begin path, and do just the same thing. Begin path, path. Now um, we want to make a new variable called head len, which will be the length of the the arrow head, you know the triangle point part, the point part. And now a new variable called angle, which will be uh, the the angle of the head. And this will be like mind equals blown for most people, and I agree it's very complicated. At least I think if you don't if you don't know you know use your pen and paper and kind of draw this out. But what you want to put here is math a tan two a tan two two y minus from y comma 2x minus from x make a new line ctx dot move to will move like a invisible cursor to from x from y so our invisible pencil is moved to the starting position. Then we want to do ctx dot line two uh, two x comma two y. So we moved our pencil to the starting coordinates, and then we drew a line from the starting coordinates to. Uh, to the ending kind of coordinates. Now we want to make the arrow head, so ctx dot line two, and now it's really complicated. Two x. I'm never gonna be able to explain this. Just put out your pen and pencil and you know your calculator and try and figure out, or just uh, live with this. So two x minus head length times math dot cos parenthesis angle minus math dot pi divided by six move out of the first parenthesis comma two y minus head len times math dot sin parenthesis angle minus math dot pi divided by 6 move out from both parentheses and put a semicolon so tri triangles and shit you know it's fantastic that's uh, one of the one of two lines in our head so ctx dot move to where we are now moving our invisible cursor again to 
x, 2x, 2y. So we we moved our cursor to starting point, draw a line to the ending point. Then from the ending point, we draw a line to this point, and then we move back to the ending point. And now we want to draw another one of these. That's a bit different, which will be our last kind of triangle. So the difference between these uh, is, um, let's think, yeah, it's uh, it's here where it's minus. You just put angle plus mouth uh, dot pi divided by six, and same thing here, angle plus mouth dot pi divided by six. So plus minus plus minus. Now we want uh, now we want we have made the path. We want to uh, style the path so it's visible. So ctx dot line with line width equals one and ctx context stroke oops stroke stroke uh, style equals c so that's the color that we passed in ctx dot line cap equals what and this is basically you know at the, the second paint the end of a line it could either, either be a uh, a hard line or a round line let's see so this is basically uh, rounded and it could be like pointy and this specifies that ctx dot stroke stroke I'm not typing store again ctx dot stroke and now this this basically styles and now it's uh, drawn that should be it actually so let's refresh down move oh god damn it it's invisible and I know why and I'm sorry I said god damn it uh, for you religious people out there you know where it says to do draw the arrow this function is you know we made this function but it's never been called so in the game loop look for if mouse down equals true then we want to make uh, then we want to draw the arrow so let's see arrow let's just make a test so put zero zero uh, zero zero uh, fifty fifty and then red see if it's yeah every time we press the mouse there's an arrow now we want to change these temporary values to mouse pulls access this by the index of down x mouse pulls Uh, down y and now this is when we can't use the, you know the event event dot uh, plus x this will not work because uh, this function does not know what uh, what this event is so now we're using mouse plus current x which was set right right over right about <laughs> there current x 
and I actually spotted a mistake now. Around the current Y you want to have, you know, uh, quotation marks. So that's lucky for us. Uh, yeah, each time the mouse moves, this will be uh, um, these will be set. Where am I? Right here. So the same thing here. Mouse pulls square brackets current y color red. Refresh. Oops. Hmm. Interesting. Down x, down y, current x, current y, red. Let's try replacing these with zero. Save. Okay, so this is working. Something wrong with these. Current Y. No. Let's remove this. No. Okay, let's have a look at them right over here. When the mouse on mouse move, mouse move, on mouse move, set these, mouse pose, hmm, strange, move down here, copy paste, no, okay, so it's obviously something wrong with, uh, with this. Okay, so now I see what it is. Uh, you see it says pos x, it's supposed to be page s x, just like this one, page s. And this should be page y. See the mistake. Let's uh, refresh and see. And it's working. Great. So this is basically it. As you can see, it's resizable very dynamic and cool I hope you can show off show this off to some friends or something and yeah congratulations to making it this far you just written 150 lines of code I hope you learned something and this you know took me like three hours to record and would probably take me three hours to edit so know a like or a comment is greatly appreciated please just leave a comment saying anything like yeah I'm out here I've you didn't make this for nothing because I've learned something and it's great so uh, I will see you in some other tutorial hopefully and goodbye and have a nice day